It's time to do another Pixar video game. And by THQ, that did do a few good games. And Traveler's Tales. I also did Crash Bandicoot. I have a Cortex. Which I'll get to pretty soon. But I did not have a pretty good time when they did Crash Transcendy, but I did enjoy playing that game. I'm talking about an interesting game based off movie. You know, everybody already talked about. And I heard there's like lots of bad views about this game. Okay, this game does have problems. I'm talking about this one, what I'm holding right here. Do 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 do! This means Pixar Finding Nemo. If you were a kid back then that played this game before you went to see the film, chances are you might have not seen the movie yet, or pretty much played the game first and then wait for like a couple of weeks before you've seen the actual movie that came out already 17 years ago. Gotta the back. The front and the back cover look pretty interesting, since I love Finding Nemo, all the movie, and the game. Anyways, here's the game. Game. Let me just take it out. It does have a few marks on there, but it looks pretty well done. I haven't played it, so you won't be expecting me to play the game. As we all know that most video games turn into movies what tend to suck or rather be bad ones. For me, I'm going to review the, the game based off the movie. This, this games are in lots of consoles, Xbox, GameCube, Hoop, and GBA. So here's the game. Those of you who are playing this on GameCube. Oh, the loading screen takes like nearly 30 seconds, or like a full minute. So here's the rest of the game. And yes, I remember the graphics looked like this back then. Especially Merlin's terrifying staring dead eyes. In this game, you have to go swim through all the rings. Yep, just like Superman 64. Believe me, check out my video. Yep, just like in the movie, we have to have the characters in that too. First of all, if those of you watch the movie, it's war worth enjoying. It's Nearly a hundred minutes long. It's pretty great. The story plot is plain and simple. Kind of like the same as... The game is basically like the same as the movie. Nemo gets captured. It's up to Merlin to save... Save him. And encountering other sea creatures. Including my favorite character, Dory. Which we'll get to in a moment. Or they could just swim around it. Gross. <laughs> and she pooped out a uh, Pearl. And ignore what you just heard back there. Or that is funny. Look, 
And look at that, he just swam around it. And to not to drag this video longer, you do like racing games, if you beat it, you get a starfish, that's gold. And you solve in puzzles, which is the game's basic problem. When I was younger, I didn't enjoy playing this game, but since I'm a 28-year-old man right now, well, this game does have minor problems. Sure, it's fun when you're bouncing on those bouncy spun sea sponges. Nemo can attack, but you have to use those quills to quell. That's to protect you. When you get defeated enemy, it's chopped them in a bubble and you're collecting she cells. That's pretty much the entire game in a nutshell. There's just not much else to say about this game, so the music is good, but not all that interesting. It's supposed to show cutscenes from the game movie. And those of you played it before. Or it's plain and simple. There's this stage that I also don't like. You have to swim down and a current is forcing you to go down and you will probably die almost a lot uh, to avoid the enemy's attacks. That's quite a problem with this game. Not to mention, when I was younger, this music kind of scared me. Yeah, I was kind of a total wuss at that time. So blow me. But that's not like the main problem with this game. You finally meet Dory. And guess what? You have to chase after her. Not once, not twice, but three times in this game. And you had to take shortcuts to chase after her. Which makes the game pat its timing longer. You quit? What? Stop following me, okay? What are you talking about? Because remember, in the movie, she got Sir Turn memory lost. To this game's credit, the voice acting these characters really fit in. All except for one character. Which everybody already knows about when they review this game. And that is Bruce. Those of you have not have watched the movie before. And yeah, you have to avoid those from getting blown up. And you have to follow Bruce his tail. Or he'll end up in a... Rampage, which is truly scary. Because if you keep on missing those... ...and get left behind... ...that's not going to be a pretty sight. You have to avoid all those explosives. Where was I? Oh yeah, Bruce. Yeah, that's... Not the same voice actor from the show. I mean, movie. I've done those three times and we're all gonna regret it. He's preferring to those ones. Yeah, I remember trying to get far into the stage. And next you get chased by Bruce. Which I gotta admit, it's pretty much a thrilling chase. And the next problem with this game, you have to solve all puzzles. The slide puzzles that took longer to do. And you were waiting steam. Times. 
makes you end up in a tank. Do these mini games. And find the hidden characters that takes longer to do. The other one, another solving puzzle that takes like a whole hour. Or doing. Get chased by an angel fish. And you're doing this other puzzle challenge. And the only good thing about this game is you jump on jellyfishes, which is actually pretty fun, I guess. If you like that sort of thing. And look at that, there's a Pixar ball from Toy Story, the first time it first appeared in 1995. Because that's a thing now, right? Yeah. Anyways. This game has so many flaws. Not only that you have to do like almost like 30 of these stages and you solve on all these puzzles that take way longer to do. And you get inside a whale stomach. And the next stage Nemo goes into a sewer stage. And the final level. Oh for all this. Is you have to tell all the fishes to swim down. But no, we're not done yet. Even though they use that at the very end of the movie to tell all the fish to swim down. There's a lot more of this game that I'm not even done with yet. We're not quite done yet. But we still got a few more to go. So, oh, we still got more to go for. Once you complete these stages, you have to do like mini games too. Yes. After all that, you have to unlock other bonus stages too in this game. Which will make the game go on even longer. You'll probably be playing this for like four hours. Like Angry Joe says in his awesome line, four hours of you solving these mini game puzzles. I get kind of bored playing some of these stages over and over again, just a hundred percent it. So I just use cheat codes to press. Random buttons for whatever game you're playing on. PlayStation 2, Xbox. Pretty sure I said GameCube already. PlayStation 2. Okay, so the game does have problems. But to its credit, you can get to play Dory. Which is a good thing. But it doesn't even matter because Merlin Dory Three All of the characters play exactly the same. They play basically the same. There's not much else to say that they play basically the same. And I do these mini games and go through all the rings. I really didn't like these ones at all. Was this game in horrible? Well, no. But I'll explain the rest of it in part two. And give its final verdict to it.